Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Ulta haul for you. Um, products that I ordered through Ulta. And then at the end I also have a lot of freebies that I'll be showing you. And also during this video, um, across the screen here, I will be putting some names up. And those are the winners of the giveaway that I was hosting in it. Um, with Saturday Skin, they sent the products to be given away. So if you see your name flashed across the screen, look in the description box and you will find the instructions on what you need to do to contact me and let me know what your shipping address is. Um, there's going to be two winners and then I do have um, some consolation prizes so there will be a couple other people um, that will be getting some consolation. Um, gifts because there were so many people that entered the giveaway. So thank you so much for entering that giveaway So without further ado, let's get started Okay, the first thing I will start with is what is on my eyes and this is from Urban Decay and this is the Naked Cherry um, Eyeshadow palette that they just came out with um, It is new and as soon as I seen promo pics of this I knew without a doubt that I wanted to get this um, just colors just spoke to me so pretty so pretty and I did create my eye look with this today that is exactly what I have on the eyes I have this color here all over the lid which is called hot spot I think and then I have caution in the crease and then I have bang bang on the eyelid and then I have um, Devilish, which is right here in the outer edge, and also Privacy on the outer edge, which is this color right here. So it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm very pleased with it. Um, I want to get the eyeshadow, or not the eyeshadow, but the blush and the bronzer and the highlighter. Uh, that will probably be in my next haul. I'm probably going to use my Ulta points to get that, but there are some swatches of some shades that aren't on the eyes so that you can see, but just very, very pretty. Um, so excited to see, you know, this come out. And of course it does come with the brush that's typical to um, Urban Decay. And I did use this brush right here. I did like that. So it's not a throwaway brush. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. So I got that. And then another eyeshadow palette that I, as soon as I seen it, promos of it, I knew I wanted it, and that's this right here. This would have been on my eyes on the video that you would have seen yesterday, the vitamin C um, benefits and how to incorporate into your skincare regime. So if you wanted to see what this looks like on the eyes, go back and refer to that video, and I'll put an eye card up. But here is it. And um, it is in the tin or yeah, the tin type packaging. And here's what it looks like. It has a full mirror here, and it has a little gingerbread decal right here. Um, this is the gingerbread and spice um, palette. Um, it does not smell like gingerbread, unfortunately, or anything like spice. I was kind of hoping it would smell like a pumpkin, but it doesn't. It's more like a vanilla which is a very pretty scent. I'm um, very pleased with all of the colors with the exception of this one right here. That one is the color Frost Bite Me and this has to be the chunkiest, glitteriest, unworkable eyeshadow that I have ever, ever, ever used. And I don't, I don't understand why they would have signed off on that color for this palette when everything else is so pretty and works so nicely and then you have this this color here um, I don't know who what who was responsible for saying oh yeah that's really good because they are wrong and I've tried several different ways to use this and it's just really really hard to work with and it's very chunky I don't know I just I mean, once you can get it blended out, it looks really pretty. So, there was one day I used it on the cheeks as a, a cheek highlighter, which was better than what it was on the eyes. But on the eyes, it's just really hard to to get it to work on the eyelid. But 
anyway, so did that. And then I have a couple of products from Jueva's Place. Um, I had that in my last haul, I do believe. So I got this lipstick here. And this is the Festival Liquid Lip Liquid Lip in the color Soil. Is it Soil? I don't know why I can't say that word. Soy. Soil. <laughs> no. I can't say it. Anyway, I had this lipstick on in my last video also. And I thought this color would just go really, really pretty with this gingerbread color. And I know there's a gingerbread girl um, liquid lip from Too Faced that is supposed to coincide with this that I may get. I don't know, but this is really pretty. Now, I will tell you with this lipstick, um, for me, on its own, it leans, it's too orange. But if I can put it over a red lipstick or a red lip liner, it just really, really helps to be a little bit more of that um, pumpkin spice color that I want it to be with a little bit more red in it as opposed to the brown, but there is a swatch of it. It's really, really pretty though. Do you recommend that? And then I um, ordered a blush, and silly me, I already have this blush, so this is going to be a consolation prize um, for one of you folks that entered the other giveaway. So I will show it to you, but I'm not going to swatch it, because I think I showed it in the last video, haul video, but that's what it is. It's just a really pretty peach, peachy pink color, very pretty. So somebody will be winning that. So my mistake is your game, so <laughs> anyway. And then I um, seen this palette, this little um, lip gloss set at Ulta one day and I put it on my favorites. Um, it's a new set for holiday and for some reason it was on sale for like $13. It's a $35 value. It's normally $22 and then they had it on sale for $13. So I don't know why it was already marked down when it's a, a new holiday release I thought. I thought it was a holiday release. Anyway, let me show you these, and they're just little um, mini lip glosses, but there's this color here, which is the color um, Kia Royale, and then there is Vava Plump Wine Me, and then there is Gabby. So I have Gabby, Wine Me, and then the Viva Kia Royale. Is that what I said that was? I don't, know, I don't remember. Anyway, so we'll just do some swatches of these. I really like, I don't normally like lip glosses, but I like the bucks of lip glosses. I think I've have told y'all that this before. And Oh my goodness, this one I can't get open. And I like this size because I feel like it's um, not such of a waste because I know I'll never go through them. So there are the colors there all swatched out. So very, very pretty on that. And then um, another kit that I got was this one here from Peter Thomas Roth and this is all of his um, masks in little deluxe size um, sample size and there's it's a six piece mask set and it's a $44 value it's 25 and you get well you get the pumpkin you get the um, the cucumber and then this black one. I have not used this black one before. It's the Irish um, Moor Mud. And then you get the gold one. And then you get the rose stem one, which I've used the rose stem one. And I haven't used this blue one. And this is the blue agave. What does that say? The blue marine algae. <laughs> Anyway, so I um, have those to give those a try. And those are really good sizes because you could get, oh, 
gosh, I don't know how many uses out of each one. Quite a bit. So you could definitely, you know, use them, try them without them going bad. You would have an opportunity to use them up. Especially if you're someone like me that has a whole bunch of masks and <laughs> trying to use them. So, and speaking of masks, I did get another mask. Here's the box, and this is from Bliss, and this is the In the Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender Honey Mask. And um, I used it. I'm, I'm not that impressed with it. There's what it looks like. It's more like a, um, a gelée type consistency as opposed to like a creamy consistency. It doesn't, oop, I just got it on me. It does not smell like honey at all, which I was kind of really disappointed that it doesn't have a honey smell to it so and it was it was on clearance or on sale so I I don't think I would recommend this I didn't really care for it there's another one that I like from Innis, Innisfree I think it is that's a honey mask that is to die for to die for love it and then um, another skincare product I got is from Peach and Lily. Um, Ulta is now carrying Peach and Lily products. And this is the Wild Dew Treatment Essence, which is a um, drench and rewind essence. I love using that essence. How I've used an essence is I cleanse, I tone, and then I would do an essence, and then a serum, and then a moisturizer, or serum, then maybe a treatment, and then a moisturizer. Um, some essences, and this is how it kind of gets a little confusing, some essences, because of their consistency, I would use as a serum instead of an essence. Oh, it's confusing a lot of times with essences as far as how you use them. So let's see what the consistency of this is. Um, if it's a watery essence, then I use it as the essence step. But if it's more of a thicker um gel type consistency then it will be used as a serum. I can't get this little thingy off of there. There we go. So, let's see. Don't smell anything. Let me put it on this hand. Let's see this together. Okay, it's not too watery, but it's not a serum consistency. So I would definitely be using this as an essence step. And that's how I would use it. I would put it on and I would just pat it in. It has a nice scent to it, but it's not, you know, too overly fragranced. It just smells like good skincare. So that's that. And then I um, purchased this from It Cosmetics. I'm almost out of my um, CC cream. And I decided to try the new one. Well, I don't think it's really that new, but I haven't used it yet. It's the CC Plus Illuminator. And I got it in one of the new colors, which is Fairly Light. And I'm so glad they came out with new colors because the Fair in the original and the Light in the original, the Light is really too dark and the Fair is a good color, but the undertone of it I didn't really care for because they always had a little bit too yellow or too neutral where this one has some pink in it and it's really good for those of us that have pink undertones to our skin and so I did get that and I do have it on today as my foundation and it's very very pretty and one of the things that I like about this well there's a lot of things one is it has a pump two it has um, SPF in it and three is that it doesn't take very much of this at all I mean a little dot more than that but it just tastes so little and it just goes on and just covers so nicely but it's not a heavy coverage but anyway that's what it looks like on the skin on my hand but you can definitely see it on my face and it's just beautiful I love it and because I got that I was able to get this little kit for a dollar and this is the your best sellers kit um, and in it, it has some little samples. I haven't opened it yet. It has a little baby brush. Um, I think this is a, a foundation brush. It 
gosh, that is so cute. Look how cute that little guy is. And if you not ever used any of the It Cosmetic brushes, they are really, really good quality. Very good quality. And I know um, Ulta carries the original It Cosmetics, and then they also carry um, brushes from It Cosmetics that specifically um, made for them. And that Ulta is the only place that you can find them at on certain ones. Not all of them. And then it has the brow power, and this is just a universal um, brow pencil, deluxe size sample of it, um, a mascara, this is the superhero mascara, I really like this mascara, and then a couple little foil packs of the cleanser and the confidence in a cream um, moisturizer, so that was a pretty good deal to get for that. And then I got a couple of things from Essence, um, one being um, an eyelash primer. I know I've talked a lot of times on my channel about how much I really like the L'Oreal uh, Luminous Voluminous Eyelash Primer. But I like this a lot better. So this is a really good eyelash primer. Um, if you want an eyelash primer, try this one. It's like 4 or $5. I mean, it's very inexpensive, and they have sales on these all the time. Plus, you can use your coupons on these. So, I really, really like this. And it has some, um, it says super fruits in it, and it has mango butter and achy oil. I can't even say that word either. I never knew really how to say that. A-C-A-I. I know it's a fruit, and it has a lot of good antioxidants in it. I never have been able to figure out how to say it. But anyway, yeah, it has some super fruits in it, so it's good for your eyelashes in addition to um, making your um, mascara look really good on it. And then another product from Essence, and this is the Pure Nude Sun Lighter. And it's a highlighter. I do have that on here. The high points of my cheeks as my highlighter. And that's what it looks like. I heard um, Emily Noel talk about this. So, of course, I had to get it. Well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. And that is it there. So, so that is the products that I actually purchased and now I'm going to show you all of the products that I got for free. Okay, I put all of my free products in this little tote bag. I'm trying to get that in frame. This thing is like a full, full of stuff. Um, this tote bag wasn't part of the freebies, but so I'm gonna start with this first thingy here, if I can get it out. This was all one free thingy, this little bucket bag, and it is stuffed full of stuff. I'm going to go through it really quickly, because if I don't, we're going to be here for a long time. An Urban Decay eyeliner in the color Zero, which is just a black eyeliner. The Clarins um, Multi-Active Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Day Cream. The Ico Mascara, Kate Somerville Exfolicate, Beauty Pie Pop Sugar, a Velvet Liquid Lipstick, and I already have one of these, so that's going to go in a giveaway probably. The Pacifica Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash, Cover FX Cover FX um, Primer for acne, with acne treatment in it, a pillow plump plumper from Buxom, I do believe, it's just a little plumper lip plumper, a vitamin C serum from Dermalogica, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex, the Climax Mascara from NARS. Jimmy Choo um, Forever perfume sample. Tiggy Bedhead Tiggy Mini Hardhead Hairspray. 
Chlorine. Um, do, 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 do. What is this? Is this a shampoo? Yes. Soothing and anti irritating shampoo. I can read it. A julep rose hip and vitamin C oil, I think is what that is. Purity Made Simple Facial Wash, one of my favorite makeup removers. Black Opium by YSL. There's a lot of controversy over this perfume. The Ritual Yogi Flow um, Foaming Shower Gel. That's going to be interesting. A $5 off coupon for Ulta Beauty. The Bad Gal Bang Mascara. An Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Here, and I don't know what color that is. That's in the color. I don't know. What's that color? That's not the color. Monaco. In the color Monaco. Jeez. Um, here's a Clinique liquid facial soap mini and then it has a little um, this little pot that you're supposed to be able to take into Ulta and get a foundation sample unfortunately our Ulta here next to me doesn't have the full Clinique bar so we'll have to go into Broken Arrow or Tulsa to get that the little sample of it the triple sec um, I don't know what this is it's something from dry bar but this little bottle is like it feels like there's just like just a tiny bit of that in there. Anyway, here's a little bath bomb, bath ball in watermelon. A fizz and bubble. Ooh, that smells good. There's a hand mask, and this is from I don't know who that's from, but anyway, it's just a little hand sheet mask. This is from Ulta Beauty, the blueberries and yogurt. Mud mask, and there's like three to four uses in this little pack. It says a buxom full on plumping lip cream in white Russian, Peter Thomas Roth Max Shield All Day Moisture with SPF. This is from Too Cool for School, it's some kind of um, lip balm or lip tint product. I can't really tell what it is, but that was in there. Here's another, this is a full size product, and this is from Lime Crime, and it's a lip topper, and it's like really, really, really glittery, super glittery on that. From the one, which is by Frederick, Frederick Frakai, and this is a, oh, it's a, it's a leave-in conditioner, I can't tell what that was. Then from Tarte is the Tartiest um, Pro Glow st in Stunner. It's a liquid highlighter. Here's a little Beauty Blender sample. <laughs> Look at this. It's like so little. And they give you the water to wet it with. And it's supposed to go from this size to this size so that you can test it out. <laughs> um, there's another one of these Pillow Plump from Buxom. From Living Proof, um, a blowout, blowout finish spray. A little sample of it. Madison and Reed shampoo, and then there's a Madison and Reed conditioner. There is a small travel size of the Mac Fix Plus. Victor and Rolf. Um, or, you know, bonbon perfume sample. The ACV something something. It's the um, the um, apple cider vinegar something. Oh, it's the leave-in hair therapy from the apple cider vinegar line. Here's a full size of a lipstick of the Ulta Beauty brand. In the color. The color social status. 
clean perfume sample and I think this one's rain and then there is product from Murad and this is the firming eye cream so that was what was all in this little cute little bucket bag and I'll probably give this little bucket bag to my little granddaughter she's eight I think she would like that she likes the little blingy stuff and that would be cute to give to her Okay, so now we've got all this other stuff to do. So here's another um, bag of goodies. And in it is from Wella a conditioner from the Fusion Plex. There's a conditioner of it. I think there's a shampoo in here too. Yes, there's the shampoo and conditioner. The Caviar Miracle Multi multiplying volume mist. I really like that volume volumizing mist. There's a Fido volumizing spray. I haven't tried that. That'd be interesting. And then there's a Living Proof Perfecting Spray. One of those. And then um, this was a free gift with purchase because I purchased some skincare in there. And this is from Paracone MD Citrus Facial Wash. So this it's a full size and this was free so that was a good buy a good freebie this is another freebie and this is because um, my daughter and I we share account I've told you this and so we are diamond so the diamond freebie for this month was a full size of the Becca um, brightening primer filter you get the brightening one or you get the one that is the purple color and I already had two of the purple colored ones so I got the one that is a brightening um, primer and I do have this on as my primer today not this bottle but I had a sample of it and I really do like it definitely do which I like stuff that's going to make me look illuminated um, I have the hemp's pomegranate moisturizing herbal body wash from oh, soap and glory the righteous butter Skin Fix Calm and Repair Sleepy Mask from Revlon. There is a Photo Ready Highlighting Palette. This is the Sunlit Dream. So that's what that looks like. Physician's Formula Spotlight um, Illuminating Primer. So this would be interesting to see how this compares to the Becca. I may have to do a little comparison on that. The Ultimate Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator in Starlight. A Milani lipstick, full size. The Vita Bath Moisturizing Bath and Shower Gelay in Original Spring Green. That'd be fun to try. A little card of the Clinique for Men. Hydrator, Maximum Hydrator Activated Water Gel Concentrate. So that's just a little blister pack. The All May Makeup Free Zone um, Makeup Remover Pads. An Elf Shimmering Shimmer Highlighting Powder in Bronzed Glow. The Botanical SPF 30 um, Mineral Lotion. That's supposed to be non-greasy. Some Pacifica Pineapple Underarm Deodorant Wipes. This would be good to use after I work out at the gym. And then the Deluxe Size Sample of the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer Base. And then it has a coupon for a dollar off. Uh, Maybelline, is this a lipstick or is this a, is this color Sensational Lip Vivid Hot Lacquer in the color Charmer. I don't know if this is a lipstick or a lip gloss. Anyway, that was in there. That's a full size of it. It's a CoverGirl blush. I do yeah, cheekers blush in the color. Ice, no, 
number 130. I guess it doesn't have a name, it's just the color number 130. There's a lot, I'm telling you. And then there is a sample. I'm not really for sure who this is from or by. This says Live Irresistible. I don't know if that was in there. Um, this little guy here, which I can't tell what it is. What is this? Mermaid, Mermaid Kitten by uh, Winky Lux. Oh, this is a pigment, an eyeshadow pigment. I think I remember looking at this. I think it's a really pretty um, purple color. Look at that packaging. Isn't that packaging cute? Oh yeah, look. Look at that pretty purple. Ooh, that's pretty. So that was in there. And then the last thing is a eyeshadow from ColourPop. And this is one of the um, Super Shock eyeshadow colors in the color Ladybird. is what Ladybird looks like. Very pretty. So, whew, that was a lot of free stuff, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> a lot. I'm telling you, check. Make sure you're signed up for the emails to Ulta. Um, one of the ways that I find out about all the free stuff is I use Michelle Rebates, and when I go on and click on Michelle Rebates and click on Ulta, it will bring up a whole list of everything that's on sale, any gifts with purchase, any freebies, and I just go through there and look, and if there's something I want, then if there's things that I need to order, I'll place an order. I always wait to place an order until they have a really good free gift. That's how I get all that stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.